everyone, I'm Didi. Hey everybody, Arma here, Cheese Skills. And today we're going further with our alchemy podcast. This is part two. So all these alchemy things are about like you are a microcosm in a macrocosm, yeah. right? As above, so below. And wow, you know, this... And then when you look back at where we came from being young and yeah. you read about Jesus Christ and things like that or Buddha and and, and and everything starts to make sense. Yeah. Even Einstein, it makes starts to make sense, Complex right? That sense. he's yeah. he was looking for exactly the same thing, yeah. more from a scientific standpoint maybe, but I think very deep religious person as well. Yeah. You know, is looking for truth and who are you? Yeah. Who, what are you doing here? What's yeah. this mystery we're in? And yeah. that's so beautiful. If you don't look at the differences, but if you look at the overlap of all these things. Yeah. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. So yeah. what is Tai Chi, right? What is Qigong, right? Yeah. It's it's alchemy. Yeah. You have to learn alchemy. That That's what it's all about. It, it's a spiritual path. Yeah. I'm building a foundation. So what we've learned so far, I guess, is that it, it, you cannot do that without a, a strong foundation, right? So see it this way. If you have the vital energy or the, the physical, you could say, right? And then we have the chi level, right? The astral yeah. energy, as it's also called, and we have the shen. These are like plateaus, spiritual. right? Yeah. yeah, the spiritual. And these are like floors, you know? Yeah. And there's like this elevator shaft, and you can rise up with this elevator and go see what's what's the landscape on this plateau right yeah. what can we do here yeah and that's all about recognizing where stagnation is you know on a physical level so the first thing you're doing here the first al- alchemical thing that's going on is going is song is yeah. what we call song is this transformation from physical stress to fascia to stretch and that's the foundation right and yeah. that that approach of Mark, it was just mind blowing. Elastic force qigong, yeah. Build elasticity. Yeah, and we, and we of course, I think two pasca- podcasts before this one, uh, we talked about um, fascia and digestion. Absolutely, yeah. And how that's related. Absolutely. So and that's that's where it, you know. That's yeah. where we. <laughs> so it's one of the things how we Come connect. Yeah. yeah, yeah, absolutely. On that, on that physical level, and how, um, especially, and and we can see it firsthand that when I was training with you and and I was doing my thing with food and herbs. And yeah, that came into our lives. Came into our lives and the courses I did, um, and we s- shared all those things it's not just knowledge but also experiences and that it was going so much faster yeah 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 Yeah. yeah, absolutely i mean before i started with rasmus while i was still training uh with rul my first teacher he all rul also introduced me to a book by damo mitchell called white moon on the mountain peak which is all about taoist you know uh, internal alchemy uh nadan okay so um, and I trained that for a year. Yeah. I did that. I remember. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, uh, that was uh, quite, quite something. I did that for a year. And um, that was all about this approach of, you know, uh, reverse breathing and bringing uh, energy into the, building energy into the lower dungeon and building heat and things like that. And I was, I was still in that process when I, met mark and then he he said like okay you you might consider uh letting not go. letting go of that training and i was like yeah. why you know because this is going to lead me <clears> to <throat> blah 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 and it was working like crazy you know it was working like crazy i was i was, I was doing every day i was training with that but there was so much heat uh, build up for me it was just not you know i was not becoming a very nice guy <laughs> No, I was explosive uh, like yeah. crazy and there were all these heat problems and um, and he was like, and Mark was like, why would you want to store anything? Why would you want to do that? Why, want, why do you want to hold on to something? Yeah. 
when at the same time you can become a conductor for all the energy that's already there, right? Yeah. And that's what he meant with the stretch. He said, just develop fascia, develop fascia, develop fascia, clear resistance, clear resistance, go zoom, zoom, zoom. And what you will notice is that you're just streaming energy all the time. And of course you can store it, but I learned how to store it in the bone marrow, which is so much more safe, you could say, and just use it up in the day, give it back, if it's, you know, still there in the much. evening, yeah. if there's too much. But it ke I kept feeling better and better and better and better and all the time. It doesn't mean that this Taoistic approach doesn't work, but it didn't work for me. No. For some people, I think it can actually work. Yeah. But I, I was like, I was like a sort of, yeah, I, why would <laughs> I, why would I want to store it, you yeah. know? Of course, I wanted more energy. I understood, yeah. you know, from that point, that was what was what I was looking for. I wanted more stable energy through my day. But I think this 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 stability came eventually with training with Mark from creating this strong construction. Yeah. Because now I'm always open and always elastic, you know. And and I, I think there is also what you see is that the, there is connection now with you have exchange with the energy around you yeah. instead of kind of cut off from storing it within you and saving it yeah. kind of feels like more like a, a stagnation almost yeah and it co it's costing energy as well yeah. to keep it there right yeah. and um and i don't want to put anything down here you know no. I, I had a, it was it's, a great yeah. introduction also into into internal alchemy and it I think it works for a lot of people, I think, you know, but it didn't work for me. Yeah. And I was so glad that I found Mark and that he was teaching this and it set up the whole foundation for this. Yeah. And of course, we started building from there, yeah. right? It's like, okay, we have the inter this introduction to vital energy and, you know, uh, then how to change that to chi because there's a difference, yeah. how to release time. And now, all the qigong that I learned before, started making sense coming yeah. from that frequency. I'm like, yeah. okay, yeah, yeah, that's that's what it is, right? Yeah. Getting yeah. in contact with all the senders and everything. And yeah, also yeah. going through the more emotional things, right? So what are stagnations on that level, right? Emotional yeah. stagnations. And that's where you already developed the, the, the herbs. herbs. Right? Yeah, because they are so on... Um, on the emotions and and what I see is that most people have like a theme in their life that's that's holding them back. Yeah. And that can be multiple, but um, there are these beautiful herbs that can help you go through things like, um, well, maybe there is something what why am i here on earth and and do i deserve to be here do i really feel that i own my space i see that and in all variations i see that one coming back um but it can be other other things or grief that's there and then the the herbs really give you um Kind of a support system, <laughs> yeah. There's magic there. Yeah, it's just pure magic. Yeah. And I, and it's a, what I what I found. Of course, first I I studied um, five element food, and traditional chi traditional Chinese medicine. But the day I came in to um, to that school, I also did an introduction on herbs. And I, I wasn't planning to do anything no. with herbs, but I remember because I was you there. were there. I was there. You I was were like, there. What is this? And 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 um, uh, we just stayed on because there weren't so many people for that course, and it, it was just an introduction lesson. And we were sitting there, and I was like feeling, whoa, something deeply resonated with me. Absolutely. And I saw it and I was yeah. like, because I think the unique thing was that they were not working with the Chinese dried herbs or things no. like that. They were working with the Chinese approach, the five element yeah. approach, but then with the herbs that grow here. Yeah. The fresh stuff, yeah. right? And how do you recognize 
yeah. a plant? Is it more young? Is the, how is it with the, the leaves? And how do yeah. you recognize? And what does the color say to you? And, and then, man. Yeah. And, then, and, and so, and then I also found out much later that actually my great grandmother was a herbalist in her days. Goosebumps. Which, yeah. yeah. And so it's kind of, and I think my grandfather, he was always talking about all these herbs, but I just didn't really realize that it was something in the family that was kind of yeah, going and, through my DNA. And now you see it's pretty unique. Yeah. And you see, yeah. And, and, and what you see is that you have this ease with it, right? Yeah. It's almost crazy how, how you can come up with this, you know, let's call it a recipe for, uh, yeah. you know, a herbal uh, recipe. Um, it's like, it's, it's just it's, coming. It's like you're cooking a pasta, you know. It's yeah. it's so easy. It just it comes so naturally. Yeah. And you're so aligned with that, yeah. right? But it's it's I think again with feeling and working with energy, what I did learn, um I met so, uh, a man who does the uh um not aromatherapy, but uh, Bach Blossom. I'm not sure. Bach Blossom. I'm not sure <laughs> what. Yeah, it's so like is. extracts yeah. from flowers and yeah. things like that, right? In and the... and he was working with the energy of the plants, and we would do that, but for not so much. And he taught me how to feel energy, and and to tune into the energy, and that was so the same as what you would do with working with you yeah, know, the bowl, getting energy, into the energy and, then, breathing. and yeah. then going into the energy of the plant and I was like uh, wow uh, yeah. and, and you can really communicate with the plants and yeah. totally changed my yeah. life totally yeah. changed my life and because communicating with plants on this energy level you feel so connected and it's so much easier to work with the plants because I love working with plants that I'm just looking outside at, the, at my garden at the moment. When they're growing around you, um, that's that's so powerful. Mm. That's what you want to use. The plants that just grow around you and telling you. and Everything starts so, to make sense, right? Yeah, yeah. It, it, nothing is for nothing. No. And uh, we, we are sort of brought up with everything sort of like chance or, uh, you yeah. know, like we're sort of cut off, cut off from this experience and then something. When you start to go into this stuff, nothing is no. a coincidence anymore. No. It's just this. It's everything, just what it is. Everyone that you meet, yeah. everything that happens to you, yeah. it kind of falls in place and it's part of your experience. But, and. I wanted to say that earlier on when you said about your training and I think what's most important that you have an open mind for everything and that you experience it as then you can say, okay, this worked for me or this didn't work for me. Exactly. It's all in the experience. Yeah. And that's so important. That's this. so important. If we're, if, we're, if we're building this this pyramid, right? The Jing, the Qi, the Shen, and go moving beyond. It's 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 this it's this ec the experience that you have on all these levels. Yeah. So, okay, oh yeah, we're, we're not talking about Danjian. There is my Danjian. Yeah. I can feel it. Yeah, okay. Now I feel this energy. Oh, now I feel that. Now I feel that. And then everything everything starts to align. And yeah, yeah, you know. And that's. Uh, and then you have so many, and that's so great. And then there are so many teachers around you. Because um, everybody is going on a journey um, and, and, and gives you information my, yeah, uh, about their journey. And, and you can yeah, if you hear, back to if that. you look at the movie, you know, coming back a little bit to the start, is that now now you can really recognize and you can place it in the yeah. in the system, you could yeah. say, because it it actually is a system, yeah. right? These systems yeah. are old and they work, and um, so you can also see on what level is some is someone is he here, is he there, or uh, where yeah. am I here, where am I there? And no. so, but you say okay, coming back to to the start, so. Just for now, where are you now at this time in your 
in your process? In, in the process where I'm now is that I think, you know, there's this foundation that's there. Um, I, I work a lot with Akasha and Light at this moment. So that would be Wuji and Light training. And also still fine tuning if there's any resistance or blind spots in the emotional body, in the mental body that I'm aware of, that I can let go of and help stream this light through me. Uh, you know, that uh, through Akasha uh, or Wuji and clearing this resistance out. I think it's just there's so, so much has transformed already, but I think there's all these layers that you're still peeling off and being introduced to this uh, Akasha and light training by Mark is, is, is the best thing that ever happened to me. And I teach it also, right? Yeah. Um, but it's all, I, I think people have to understand that it's not only a spiritual path in the sense that you are climbing this ladder, but it's mostly recognizing where stagnations, stagnations yeah. are yeah. by climbing this ladder and then bringing it back down again, right? Yeah. Streaming this light and become the streamer of light. So I think that's, that's where I am now. It's like, yeah. I'm so much more aligned with myself, but I also feel it, it still needs work, you yeah. know, and, uh, yeah. but, but I love it, you know, I yeah. love it. And, and it's uh, interesting how you, because that's your training, but then it reflects on your life or that's, if I look at myself, I see, and I'm not as far in that training as you are, but you see what has happened in your life and where you're now um, recording to uh, what you're doing, uh, how we spend our days, Absolutely. how fit we are, how, how much time we spend on good food and, you know, and doing the things that we really love. Well, if you really yeah. know yourself, right and you clear this resistance is then who are you yeah if you clear the resistance who are you well there's alignment there there's the spirit there's the soul right there's this this light want to come through uh, like your higher purpose whatever you yeah. could call it you feel that that's coming through you without effort yeah what what was costing effort was the resistance right the oh, resistance yeah. is the effort and if you start realizing that, like, I'm resisting here, which Tai Chi is such a great uh, training for, because yeah. it's all about flow and, you know, recognizing resistance, then everything starts to make sense, right? Because it's already there. The spirit is already there. The soul is there. It's more like what's stuck there and where are we distracted? If we can let go of that, yeah. it just starts, all starts making sense. And there's like this this huge relief yeah. that's yeah. becoming stronger and stronger. And of course you share that with people. That's why yeah. we share so openly yeah. Yeah. because it's, it's, I think it's not easy to find per se, no. unless you're open to this. Yeah. Right. And then we'll find you. Yeah. Absolutely. And you're saying like, you I'm further in this process, but that's not, uh, that's not no. what it is. No. I think you are on your own unique I, yeah. path with yeah. this. And, um, yeah, you rock and roll because you know <laughs> it's it's the it's 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 this connection that we make together yeah. which makes this such a strong uh well little family right yeah yeah absolutely yeah wow and for you where am i at this well i think um what i see for myself is um yeah a, a rapid transform transformation uh happening all the time um, and I think I also see that I adapt more of your training and that we do more training together. Yeah. I've, I've done a lot of your courses, uh, been one of your students as well, as you're my number one client. <laughs> and guinea pig. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> so I think that's great. And I, so I know what you're talking about and, and I, and I, adopt that more and more and i and of course i do have my own path and i do have my own sources with inspiration and i think that's really good absolutely um, and you bring this feminine aspect in in, yeah. in, in, in into this uh into yeah. this household and, and that's just amazing yeah. and i think also that lately we've been working with uh, astrology and the moon and getting into all these rituals around uh, moon 
the new moon and the full moon and yeah talking about birth charts and so but yeah. i think it's inevitable is that when you start you know you start tuning into your own nature right yeah. Because that's what alchemy is all about. First, you start with yourself, but then it expands right yeah. into into the universe, really. Yeah. So um, I think going from you know what you're talking about, oh, the food, making uh, food. What are we cooking? It's and then basic, we're, oh, we're going yeah. to herbs. And then at that same time, oh, that's that's no coincidence. We move from an apartment to a house with a garden, yeah. right? And yeah. we get this garden. Well, yeah. you know, and 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 then you get this expansion of experience and then i yeah. think astrology is a logical yeah and uh, expansion of that right absolutely and yeah. i think for me all these steps are so logical i have always been a child that loved to play outside and i've always been as a child i was always surrounded by flowers and and plants and love to grow them and um, you know, walking with my bare feet on the grass, it, great. Yeah. And that, and then when you grow up a little, you kind of lose that feeling, that playful, that connected feeling yeah. with everything that's around you. And and I feel that this this training and in our life, I get that feeling back more and more. I. I start to um, get to know me more and more yeah. again. Yeah, yeah. And allow myself to be that person that I am. Yeah. And that is, I am a, a nature person. I love to connect with totally. plants and trees and love to be outside. I love to connect with people as well, of course. But um, yeah, and in a way the the society teached me uh, a way of living that wasn't really for me mm -hmm. yeah. and and to kind of you need to come at a stage where you say okay enough is enough this is not exactly. working yeah i know that I stage i want to yeah. find my own path and and move away from that and some people around me say oh well, you're all this woohoo and for me this is so with my feet on the ground so yeah, <laughs> yeah. oh so I, connected I, to, to yeah. nature and uh yeah and that's and that's woo -woo. nothing yeah. woo -woo about being one with everything around us and feeling what's good for you i think they're with their head in the clouds most of the yeah, time totally totally but and, yeah or hopefully, in the hopefully, mist. Yeah. hopefully they wake up from that yeah. At, yeah. at a certain point and you see it i happening. wish everyone that journey yeah. yeah well i think everyone is on that journey yeah. um but a journey is not only in one lifetime i think yeah. you know it goes yeah. over multiple multiple yeah. lifetimes for sure um yeah. um so yeah. I, I think alchemy, and and we talk about it all the time. It's uh, uh, it's transformation. We, That's yeah. what we're doing. It's all about transformation. Yeah. So uh, yeah, yeah. In 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 the, in the future, I mean, of course, in this podcast, we're not really going into the exact steps and teaching the steps per se. But I hope you get an idea of you know what what it does in a life for someone, right? And of course, we're going, going to go deeper into this yeah. material mm -hmm. teaching it, right? Uh, fascia, the, the, the energy work, the mental training, and all these things to make uh, sense out of it. But I hope this uh, gave you a sort of, a, you know, a insight story. Insight in insight our lives. In our lives, of and, course, right? And how we see things, and how we experience them. Yeah and how we work together as well and yeah. what why it's so impactful if you blend work, and blend uh, and and get more uh knowledge and experience on the table yeah yeah in this process becomes a niche in a niche in a niche you know it's yeah. like <laughs> so um yeah I hope this was helpful. Yeah, thanks for listening. It's been a two-part series uh, because it was uh, pretty long yeah. and it could have been a five-part, I think. But uh, yeah, it was great uh, talking you, to you about this, uh, Didi. Yeah. And uh, yeah, sometimes it's good to go back, right? Through the yeah. story and then, yeah. oh, where are we now? Very okay. Great. great. So 
hope to see you soon. Yeah. And, uh, take care. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>